episode 40. Taking the credit, episode 40. Yeah, I waited for you. It's perfect. Perfect timing. Perfect everything. It is a good day. Every day's a good day. Is it a good day? It's yeah. Sunday. The weekend is over. That's okay. Every day is the weekend when you love your wife. Right? I hope so. Yeah. So, um, oh, wow. Maybe I could have used that adapter. Okay. Anyway. Yeah. Episode 40 feels pretty incredible. I know I keep saying that, but sometimes I'm just surprised we still do this. And 40 times is a lot of times. Success. 40 hours of my life. A whole, yeah. Week. And then probably 200 hours for me just editing and <laughs> uploading that's and everything. That's your choice. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. It's my choice, but we're still doing it. And it's episode 40, and it's only going to get better. And that's the reality. And uh, yeah, we were going to have Jesse and Bailey on today. And I do not at all blame you guys because I, I know you'll listen, but I do not at all blame them because moving. And then the trying worst. to do this. Yeah. It's hard enough to do this sometimes uh, just I when you're chilling. So yeah, we'll get you guys on next week, episode 41. We will plan to have Jesse and Bailey on, and that will be exciting for us because they're great friends. And uh, it'll just be nice to have other people to talk to besides my wife. <laughs> Drives me insane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you didn't fair. say happy Father's Day to me. It's not, no, don't even go there. Cause what about Gilberto? Gilberto. That's our son. <laughs> He'll confuse people. Okay, Gilberto is what we call my stomach <laughs> because it's large. Yeah. And it's my baby. It's your baby. <laughs> yeah, I brought Gilberto into this world. <laughs> and you'll take him out. I'm not taking Gilberto out. Well, we're going to start meal prepping and stop yes. eating pizza. Yeah. We w yeah, we were doing so well again. We we're always doing so well. And then there's like one crack and then it all starts to it fall overflows. apart. So we got burgers because burgers sounded good. And then that turned into what we went out to dinner tacos. with your family. Oh, tacos. Right. And then we yeah, got like philly cheesesteak grilled so cheese good what is that fried 300 food sons is that what it's i think called? so yeah it's right a local the railroad there local brewery we went out with the family and had some dinner that food was so good poutine like 10 different oh types yeah. of poutine see and that's the thing it's all just fried food and potato chips the house made ones yeah, i used to go so to good. the tavern at the by the flat iron mm -hmm. small for those but right these ones might be i mean it's not yeah, the same yeah but flavor wise i really they're really it. good yeah. and the dip yeah. yeah i'm so hungry all i've eaten today is two spoonfuls of almond butter well sorry i like to rest my I nose know, on it <laughs> just cuts in and out so i'm trying to help our listeners and me as a listener <laughs> currently but uh yeah yeah, I I think you should definitely eat more. And we'll have some delicious chicken and Brussels sprouts. I think we've got Brussels sprouts. If yeah, not, I'll cook. Okay, thank God. Yeah, they're in like the thick green yep. thank mesh God. bag. Oh, those are the ones from Whole Foods. Yeah. So those should be even better. Super good. Yeah, I've got those. And that's my thought, like we were just talking about, wanting to get back into the meal prep. But the meal prep meals I used to make were huge. Like I will do probably oh, yeah. like half of that. But I'm I'm also thinking I would like to keep it a little more simple. So I know I've done like couscous and rice, but I'm going to mm -hmm. do like the chicken. And I haven't done this before, but like the Parmesan chicken that we like to get from King Supers. Mm -hmm. I'm going to look at the ingredient it. list and see how they put that together. And then that way I can make good chicken for our little meal yeah. preps. And then... I will make like just one side, you know, like Brussels sprouts for all of them. Nice. I like that steamed broccoli or something just Ew, simple. No. Well, I, 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 was, I like the snow peas and the snap peas. I really yeah, like those. Fine. But just veggies and, and water chestnuts. 
Yeah, we don't need rice or couscous or no, anything like no, that. No, it, it would be good. And it, then, like, if I can even do my little portions so that way I don't go ham. And it's really good. I like when we eat the meals like that. I'm always excited to eat them. So yeah. as long as we just keep doing that for a while, yeah, like a year, we're going to put a little calendar up on the refrigerator and check off each day that we don't eat bad food. So five guys is always the starting point of our breakdown. <laughs> That's when it starts to really fall apart. So somehow we have to figure out a way to not want five guys. Well, I've got the vegan burgers, which are, I mean, those are fine. That's the thing are. about it. It's not as greasy. It's vegan. I literally, when I was cooking those the other day, took a bite out of it. Like one of them like ripped off kind of like because they're kind of attached. And like one of them had like a little chunk and I was like, and I ate it raw. But it was vegan, so it was fine. And then, yeah, like we could even skip the cheese. Only like the only bad part about those, I'm pretty sure, is the buns. Yeah. Well, and I mean, really, for five guys, it's probably the fries that does it more right. than the burger itself. Yeah. So I just make cheeseburgers at home yeah. when we crave it. And then Sounds we're good. good. Yeah. And then we can't go out to dinner with your family anymore. Nope. Sorry, guys. <laughs> and then we got pizza yesterday. That was not a bad decision, though. Yeah. It really, and I even knew before, I said, I know I'm going to regret it, but we're going to do it. It's going to be good. And then I love the deep dish or like the, what are those called? Yeah, the Chicago deep dish. Chicago style where it's like the goods are on the inside and then they cover it with cheese. The sauce is on the top. Sauce on the top. Yeah. All those tomatoes gave me some serious reflux. Reflux. Yeah. It was good. It was good. It was good. And I sent a bunch of it with Kyle today to work. Like more than either of them. I think, I don't know, They maybe they shared, maybe they didn't. But my mom said she'll take whatever's left. So Kyle ate it in the car on the way there. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. But cool. yeah, it's I really ate two pizza, pieces though. last night while you were chilling playing games and I don't regret it. That was at like 10 o'clock and it was so good. Yeah. Which one? Which pieces did the you have? Uh, yeah, pizza. I mean that's not as heavy, <laughs> not as heavy as the other one. Yeah, that one's really good, and the other one is a little heavy, but it's so delicious. Just so much cheese. I love pizza. I feel yeah. like I will lose a piece good. of me when we don't eat pizza. I don't think so, because we went a really long time without eating it, and we were okay. I just think about the leftovers. I guess because I'm so hungry right now, it's like. I could eat all of that pizza. Mm. But the chicken will be really good and Brussels sprouts. I just have to cook it. And yeah. that can take some time. I'm actually feeling okay. Good for you. Yeah. <laughs> I had the smoothie. I had the, mi- the coffee mixed vitamin drink. drink. The coffee drink, yeah. Ooh, yeah, that was the coffee thing was fun. Peanut butter just sounded good because I was hungry and I've been eating spoonfuls of almond butter. But that it sounded good. I was like coffee and peanut butter, like, and then I've got some of that creamer left, so I poured the rest of that, bunch of ice cubes, and then some almond milk, and then I took a sip of it and it was like, wow. So then I poured like two tablespoons of powdered sugar in it and blended it all up. So because I really wasn't gonna serve it to you, it was just like, bleh, and so that hopefully helped. Yo, yeah, oh, it's delicious, like a coffee smoothie. Yeah. Ice drink. Ice, yeah. Not like, yeah, not just an ice drink. It's like a blended thing. Blendy. Blended drink. But those vitamin drinks have been helping, I think. Do you see it in my face? No. But I don't know what I'm looking for. Is my face looking more collagen I I don't know what that really means, but you've always looked extremely beautiful to me. That's nice. Yeah. How about my face? <laughs> my we five see each hours other every sleep. day. Well, then what are you <laughs> asking me? <laughs> five hours of sleep. But no, I, I, I'm Vital vital Protein, says the brand. And they have this beauty powder or whatever the hell they call it, beauty vitamins, and it's got collagen, which when you think about it, that's... What is, I don't I don't even know what it is, but I know that it's like something with the skin. So instead of putting on, I've never been a fan of lotion and moisturizer. And I noticed it's been like my mom's face looks better. So I think that 
yeah. whatever it's from the inside out like she said so i don't have to put the stuff on my face and maybe this will help my stupid face you drink it and your mom's face looks better <laughs> we found out about it from kirsten's mom kirsten found out about it from her mom i'm oh. just a test dummy for and men and you're taking it too yeah. And the proteins. I don't even know what's in like their recovery thing. I don't even know what's in that one, but we take it. <laughs> Collagen is the main structural protein in the extracellular matrix in the various connective tissues in the body. As the main component of connective tissue, it is the most abundant protein in mammals, making up from 25 to 35% of the whole body protein content. Wow. So, so what do you think about that? Uh, there are very few risks for taking collagen. It's associated with a number of health benefits, may improve skin health by reducing wrinkles and dryness, may also help increase muscle mass, prevent bone loss, and relieve joint pain. Really? Yep, so I think it's a good thing we've been taking that. Although my joints have been pretty achy the last couple of days or so. I'm very sore. Everything hurts. Yeah. Me too. But I also have been spending a lot more time seated because of quarantine. Well, whose fault is that? Mine. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I rolled on the foam roller this morning before I got on the bike, and it was so nice. I need to do that more often. And then the other day, I mean, I got on that lacrosse ball and just passed out. That's what happens. What time did you pass out? Just kidding. I don't know. <laughs> that, with the lacrosse ball? Yeah. That was like middle of the day. Yeah. <laughs> Lunch that, break. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was tired. Yeah, but we've also Damn. been staying up late and boozing. Me boozing. Booze boozing. It's comfortable. Yeah, it's nice, but I understand that it's you. It's got to stop, like the constant, just not constant, but it's like this quarantine life has become so comfortable. Yeah, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. The reality is, we just adjusted well yeah. to the circumstances, and like life is all about adaptation and how you deal with change, and because everything changes all the time, and I feel like we did magnificently with this change and uh i mean the i think the biggest change from here would be going back to sort of a state of normal which yeah. we're pretty good at doing too yeah so. it'll Although be weird this is better. We ha- like not having you here it's gonna be so weird i'm gonna be so lonely like i'm gonna get so sad I it'll don't, be I mean, awful it's not by choice <laughs> you're gonna have to keep your phone on a charger all day and we'll just facetime so we'll be like close to each other <laughs> i mean i would but i also would be in an office with i peop- know well maybe usually i'm alone but i don't know that's why i just gotta make things work on my own so i could do a couple of jobs a month and be okay you yeah. Know? So we'll see what happens with that, but it would be nice to spend more time working from home. Like really, th- I'm probably going to be going back in soon, I'd imagine, since they're really pushing to get that new office space. So Yeah. That's I'm a bummer. I'm not I'll be ready. Sad. Yeah. I mean, I'll be okay, but you'll eat burritos every day on your way to work. And then you'll swing by five guys and eat a cheeseburger on your way home from work. In a different life, yes. Uh, I mean, in like the same life, but 10 years ago, definitely. How old am I? Yeah, that adds up. How old are you? I am 45. Well, that wouldn't work because you're not rich, so... I wouldn't marry you if Uh, you were old unless you were rich. 45's not old. It's not old. I mean, I'm just moving out of my mom's house. (laughs) That's a scary thought. I'm so scared to get old. I think about that a lot lately. 
It keeps coming up. I'm getting to that midlife crisis point because I won't make it to like 70. So, you know, if you're looking at 30, it's kind of that midway. You're probably going to live longer than anyone else. (laughs) Doubt it. It's always those old angry people who are still. (laughs) (laughs) I guess that fits my personality. (laughs) Bitter all the time. Yeah. You'll be sharing weird stuff on Facebook all the time. (laughs) Yeah. I really like the cat, the cat ones. I see a lot of the funny cat posts and it makes me so happy. And like if I could just fill, I, you know, it's interesting. A lot of the people that I am friends with on Facebook don't even really post on Facebook. And any people that maybe I used to be friends with, like don't really post. And like, I don't know if people grow out of social media or if they're all just doing like, um, like Instagram or something. You know what I mean? Is that what it is? Probably. I mean, a lot of people have moved just to different platforms. Uh, Instagram, TikTok. I don't know. I just can't spread my energy out. Mm -mm. That's, that's. No. no. I got the name. I know. But I don't have any interest to get on there. And the reality is there's really no point in me using it because it's just a younger audience. So right. I feel fortunate. They all do dances. They do these weird dances. And if you don't like dancing, it's like, well, what do you do then? Everybody likes dancing. No. Yes. But uh, I feel fortunate in that Facebook is something that I've held on to. And now, like, I need Facebook for marketing. And that's really one of my better marketing tools right now. So yeah, I made you delete out. your Instagram, but then you just made one behind my back, anyways. Something about your pictures and stuff. I told you about it. Yeah. Turd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Whatever. It, you didn't make me. You wanted me to for a long time, and eventually I did it. But. I was done with it at that point. Done creeping. You also wanted me to get off Facebook. And I held firm. Yeah. And I'm glad I did. Well, that would have been a joint thing for sure. Because if you had gotten off of it, I would have too. But here we are today with our Facebooks, posting cat pictures. You're posting your company stuff. And talking to your friends. Everyone's happy. Yeah. Very happy. (laughs) 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 Yeah. So that's been good. And pleasantly, I've got (laughs) some. Ah, you took it away. But I need I need to remember that because it has the number on it. That I give it back and I'll write a note on there for you. Okay. I'm a little sweaty. Yeah, it's always warm in here. But, um, yeah, Facebook's been good, especially lately. You know, I did that, put that ad out, and it worked. Yeah. I put that ad out a week ago with a picture. Didn't. It didn't resonate. I put the ad back out with a video. Much better so far. So that's cool. I've got my three three leads now. Three leads. Yeah. Oh, you have three? I thought you. I know you had two. Is another one came in this morning? That's yeah. That's amazing. You didn't tell me that. It's so rude. Well, you don't care. I always care. Nope. You have a marketing degree, right? Business marketing. Yeah. Business marketing. How perfect would that be to well, help I didn't me? Pay attention. <laughs> actually a lot of that stuff's probably easy or just not applicable anymore since time changes and advertising <laughs> changes but yeah that that was i think with social media even when i was in college like that wasn't necessarily a, the biggest platform wow Perfect. that's exciting yeah yeah like for marketing and stuff i don't know i don't i really I tell you all the time how dumb I am. And you're like, no, you're so smart. But yeah, because you are. But no, I really don't absorb information very well. I feel like I'm pretty unmotivated to learn most of the time. 
Is there anything that you, well, I don't know. There is stuff that you like learning about. I like building. Yeah. Unless we're missing pieces. And then I get real mad. Yeah, Stupid. what was all that about? Oversock. I'm boycotting them. Yeah, that really, I actually was feeling kind of feisty that day, but then I got on the phone with the bed people that I, it's like some furniture company, like Grace something furniture, and uh, I called once, didn't get through to anyone, and they just hung up like, no one's available, goodbye, and then I called again, and then I got through to someone, and they were like, wait, a whole, I started telling them what my problem was, and they were like, where, 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 where did you get it from? I was like, overstock. He's like, well, you need to contact them. And then I was like, oh, okay, bye. But if I was feeling a little more, like, I guess, ready, prepared, I would have been like, this is your product. Like, why can't you send me? Oh, look, the ant is back. He was there last time. I would be like, why don't you send me the missing pieces for the, you know, bed that you sent me? You know, technically it came from Overstock, but this is your product. Like, you're yeah. not going to send me these missing pieces. I but then yeah. I harassed the Overstock care lady and then I felt bad and I told her that like if there's any survey or thing I could fill out because you were helpful just let me know and then she sent me an email saying sign up for club O which remember I was like I don't want that give me like a refund of some sort and then like there was a second email like prompting me to set it up and I was like oh not gonna do that (laughs) so are are you gonna call the manufacturer back no i mean i gotta figure out they're gonna they reached out they're gonna send the pieces i don't know yet when um but yeah no i just thought it was funny that like that's what she instead of like saying you know filling out a survey which most companies you know even like when you call in i think u.s bank it was like are you willing to fill out a brief survey blah 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 or give us whatever but then her prompt was like just sign up for this like their stupid membership program which they probably get maybe some sort of commission on that if they can sign people up. So, I don't know. Well, that's strange. I mean, it was, it's a bed frame. And bed frame. it all came in one box. Yeah. And you open the box and the headboard slides out. And then you take the Velcro off the back of the headboard and there are all the pieces to the bed frame. That was super weird. Yeah, I mean... Smart for yeah. packaging and saving space, but somehow there were all of the parts, and it seemed like everything fit pretty perfectly in there. Yeah. And we laid everything out to make sure we had every part, and we were missing the two legs that hold the headboard up. <laughs> it's like... What's the point? Yeah, we need those. That's, yeah, that's like the purpose of it so and so now it's just kind of floating down there (laughs) yeah everything else we had so we set it up but i think about it and like the way that it's set up right now it's so funny it's like picture if this is where the headboard is supposed to go and we did this and this and this it's got the legs here and here and here and here like it's literally the weight yeah but that is there's just one peg right now there's not even two feet like if anything were to happen like kyle would just fall down and yeah i was thinking it may not have been the <laughs> smartest thing to use it but sure. yeah why not i don't know how long either it's gonna be before. yeah i was so mad so I, of course i had to kind of i could i wasn't gonna stop i was like we're gonna put this together the best we can but that product was psh, anyway like it was just dumb because the i mean it's like four wooden skinny little wooden planks that are essentially holding up the bed and it's it's so dumb it's you know it it's not very sturdy i guess but i hope kyle would never listen to this i'll be like you bought this crap bed for me but it was expensive relatively expensive he seems happy about it i mean it's way better than the setup he had which is not a bed at all yeah well it was a bed (laughs) no bed frame yeah i know permy fern Permi Fern. Permi Fern, guys. Permi Talked Fern. about it before and we talk more about it now. I think we were talking about the cowhide being downstairs. Yeah. Permanent furnishings. Yep. Now there's a bed frame. Yeah, and a bed frame in the spare bedroom, the spare which I think bedroom. I talked about last week. I think so too. But it looks good. I'm glad glad that's 
there. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I mean, if we ever had people spend the night here and needed to stay in, you know, spare room, it's very nice right now. It's better now. Doesn't sure. feel like there are bugs all over. Yeah. No bugs. Those Colorado spideys. Basement spideys. The jumping spider. That was like three times the size of a normal jumping spider. Yuck. Cool. Yuck, yuck, yuck. I love when, so I hate the feeling of like when we fill up the baby pool and don't dump it out and there are bugs in there. Like I feel bad when there are bees and stuff and they're already dead. You know, they drown. They just didn't make it. Like even a moth one time. Um, but it's such a good feeling to be able to pull them out of the water and they're still alive. Play and save your... Yeah, I know, but it's my fault. I just need to remember to dump out the water to begin with. But it's, yeah, it, it just feels so good when, like, you see them floating and you don't even know if they're dead or alive, honestly. And then you dump them out onto the grass and then they start wiggling and you're like, oh. I saved you. I was just looking at her pup twitching. Yeah. Is she? She was. I was just a little bit deep sleep. Oh. So happy with the cold air on her. We left that on for her. Perfect. She's so spoiled. That's good. She needs it. Yeah. She needs it. And now we will sleep well with our air conditioner in the bedroom. I really wish that there was a way to set that up with the type of windows that are in this house. Well, my thought is, like, when we want to run the AC, we can just, I'll just tape the little tubi up to, like, the open window. Like, the screen is there, but it's already, like, it's up on the screen, you know what I mean? So, like, put you know it I mean? up against the screen? Yeah, so that the actual, like, air conditioner itself can sit anywhere. There's a tube, a yeah. hose, kind of yeah. like that. I know. And yeah. But there's, it's got like just a thin, and I just can tape it up to the window, you know what I mean? And leave the window open. Yeah. Yeah. I get what you're saying, because like you're letting so the air right, out or whatever. You're supposed to block the rest of the window, but I mean, that works with traditional up and down windows. Yeah. Well, the one, because they open like at a weird yeah, they swing. up and down, we'll just have the window... Like, kind of close like this, and we'll run it up and down like that, like the little tubey thing. So it gets We'll the see. <laughs> I know that's a hurdle in this house. We, I mean, and I do like the windows to a certain extent, but if we owned this place or We'd whatever house it. we own, yeah, probably just have traditional windows because <gasps> they do the job. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and hopefully, hopefully, uh, my mom was telling me, I didn't realize this, oh, she is twitching, um, that a lot of the houses in Colorado actually don't have air conditioning, but, like, newer places might, but just because of the weather here, like, you don't necessarily need it. Yeah, you do. If you don't have trees, you do. That's the thing. Yeah. A lot of people just get the benefit of tree coverage, and then their place stays cool, but... Our house gets beat up. Beat up. But we figured something out last year though, the the second summer with like having the windows completely open at night and having a fan blow the wind like out. So that way, you know, it's clearing and then the hot air out. Yeah. And I got that little the tall fan boy too mm -hmm. that first year, I think, and I remember that was an investment. That was like a hundred bucks. And I was like, oh my God, this is so expensive. Yep. And then now that just blows out in the living room. But we put that in the bedroom when it gets real hot and you just have that blow on you. Yeah. And it's, I mean, I'm glad it's out there so I don't have to turn on the AC all the time. That's like a good in between. <laughs> it's been relatively, I mean, we've had a couple hot days, but for the most part, I mean, the first day of summer was technically yesterday i think the longest day of the year first yeah. day of summer or today i don't remember but yes yesterday of june 20th the longest day of the year daylight not actual obviously there's only 24 hours in one day but longest daylight day added an hour but that's good that means that the sun's gonna start going down earlier so like when i looked yesterday oh look at the time uh the sun <laughs> went down it i knew <laughs> saw it on the microwave Perfecto. 
Oh, look, there's maybe a thunderstorm soon. Good. Um, but yeah, so the sun goes down at 8.33. That's funny because yesterday was 8.33 too. I'm glad we're doing this right now. Yeah, me too. So that way I can eat when we're done. Yeah, that'll be good. But anyways. Sorry. <laughs> It's yeah, it hasn't the been sun too will hot. Go down sooner. But it's technically I mean like spring is like pretty chill, but it was kinda hot there the last couple of days. I feel like all of the seasons in Colorado are off. Like spring needs to be back more. Back like December through April or something. And then May is summer through August. September. October. November, December. October, November would be fall. And then December, spring and winter. Folly. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I like fall. I'm ready for fall. Please you be didn't fall. used to. No, I used to hate fall. Now it's all about fall. I would love to go hunting again. Yeah, that would be fun. We're getting close to, I mean, we're getting close to that season and we haven't practiced, but yeah, maybe next year. But also very close to graduating school. That's so exciting. Yes. It's going to feel so good when you're done. You just have that big old degree and yep. you'll be smarter than me for sure at that point. No. And you can get any job you want because you can talk to people and they listen to you. My dad on the phone today since it's Father's Day. Happy Father's Day again, Pop. Uh, we talked for an hour today. It was really nice. But how is he doing? How are they doing? He's doing really well. He, uh, they've been staying out at the lake. He's enjoying. It sounds like they are enjoying working being from home. home. Yeah, just like we are. And uh, yeah, bicycles, exercise, boat rides. That sounds yeah. fun. We need to live somewhere that there's like water close by. We or could live there. Water. We could live there. I would live in Michigan. Just I buy like another trees. house on that lake. Yeah. Maybe. But we'd need more land. We'd have to have lots of land. Yeah, that's true. So much land. Buy a house on in the country near that yeah. place. <laughs> yeah. And just go over and hang out with my parents. Would Michigan make me depressed, though? Well, I don't know. I mean, it's a major change, but... Then again, it's like we're not so deeply rooted right. here that I don't think so. I mean, you like mm. cloudy coverage and stuff, so that would be, which is kind of opposite. I mean, that makes you happy, so that yeah. might be a benefit. Humidity is tough. The big mosquitoes are tough. They have big mosquitoes? Yeah, because it's humid. And uh, the winters, r the roads can be pretty tough, but... Outside of that, oh, I don't know. The way we live, we could really live anywhere and be okay. Yeah, I. it's funny that that show I've been watching, they're supposed to be in like um, Washington State somewhere. And it's like big, like jungly looking green forest. For, for forest, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> but that looks really cool too because they've got huge mountains and like there's this, like this one little house that's like on a huge lake and it's like big old trees like big old trees and it's like a dense forest and you can see the mountains in the background it looks really cool i like that i i'm just over the rocky mountains like i would like the rolling hills yeah well i mean we'll see what happens i think i think we really would i would or should really figure that out before we actually buy a house like where where would be the best place to go yeah Damn. because that yeah uh, having a house having a mortgage like really locks us in to a place right it's not easy to just flip it so we'd have to be sure that's where we want to be yeah yeah which, I mean, the reality is it's not going to be close, really, to here. No, because, because this is popping and busy and I yeah. hate it so much. It's too expensive. It's so. not expensive to, like, we could find something in this general area 
for something, but it would be small and we wouldn't have, it would be a yard like what we have right now. Yeah. It wouldn't be anything that we want. So. Right. So, yeah, I don't know. There's a lot to think about there. I don't know what the best option really is, but I can hope I like, you know, I'm just hoping that work works out. And if work works out, then the options are endless. Yeah. I just need a little bit of time to figure Figure all that out, out, especially with COVID happening. So. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, I think it's, I don't know. I want to remain humble, but at the same time, everything about this business happened in like three months. Yeah. So if I can continue on that sort of trend yeah then it shouldn't take as long as it may feel like it would take to know if it's going to work out right but also if i can if i can secure opportunities especially with facilities out Mm -hmm. here if it's if it's it's good working well and if it's working well then i could technically afford to travel to set up for like three days, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, everybody who signed up in this facility, I'll just come in in the morning, set my stuff up, be there all day. And then I go back to wherever we live. Yeah. And then fly out to wherever. But also it would be nice to just, I don't know. I'm sure there are competent people that I could find who could do it. So I just give them a shirt and a badge and I'm like, Hey, We've got an appointment on this day. Yeah. I'll give you X amount of dollars to do the job. Yeah. I'm really hoping it works out because if you were doing very well so much so, I could just quit my job and then. Yeah. I uh, mean, that's why I want to focus on this because it's not often that that you can have like a completely unique idea. And it might not be a completely unique idea, but it's certainly a completely unique service. Somebody may have thought about it, but they're not doing it. So I'm doing it, and I'm one of one. No, I'm (laughs) one of one. No. No. Okay. Oh, you're just pushing me Well, stop it. (laughs) Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to do these couple for free. Then figure out if I'm charging the right price and then go from there. Yep. Fun, fun, fun. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. It's got to work out. It's uh, got to work out. Yeah. Well, oh, I can't you can help. I will help. I'll try and figure it out. I'm sure as you get going, I'll get more into it. And I think that's what I struggle with is new things. I think about that sometimes. If I ever had to start a new job, I get so stressed out thinking about learning how to do things. I think like once I do it and I know how to do it, I feel a lot better. But, you know, I'm like get but stressed out and nervous. There are probably things that you know or are good at now that could be used in this business. Like not necessarily that you would need to learn how to set up everything and how to do everything, but like stuff you already know how to do. Sure post on social media for me or uh come up with i'm good at organizing i'll do your schedules i'll learn how to like respond and do that stuff manage your different meetings and things sure that'd be awesome could make drawings i could do some sales stuff as much as i hate it but if it like started taking off and i had product to sell to people i could work on that too yeah, well, and I mean, my my goal is um, to make the website really good so that people s- people buy into it because I target it target them with ads. They see the website, they book. But I'm not necessarily like going out or calling individual people Cold to try calling. to sell them on it. Yeah. I don't really want to do that. So the worst. It worked out with the facility. Talk to management. Put it in place. I'm happy to keep doing that. And once this thing calms down, I would like to go in in person, 
Honestly, I don't even like my brochures anymore. But what? maybe bring some brochures and this is what I do. This is what I can do. I've been joining a lot of Facebook networking groups in Boulder and Longmont business owner networking groups and trying to put the word out. So we'll how see do what you happens. not like your brochures already? How much were those? Uh, I think it was like 30 to design and then like 100 to print all of them. Wow, and you don't like them? Well, I just feel like they could be done better. Like that doesn't look so great. This looks kind of cheesy. I, I'll still use them because I got to use them. Yeah, but we will. Yeah. I remember I did FBLA. Is that what it was? Future FBLA. Is that right? Business I think so. Leadership. Uh, future businesses. Future B. There was some farmer thing in Wisconsin. But it was, no, it was like in high school, you you went and you, like, they would give you different, like, business scenarios and, like, you'd have to, like, come up with ways, like, oh, you do this and blah, blah, blah. And I remember, and they give you a certain amount of time to do it. I was in high school and I went and did that. And one of my marketing ideas for whatever it was that they gave us was to have a blimp fly over. And just drop brochures out the, because in my mind, blimps open up and then they can expel things from the bottom. Creative. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Uh, Yeah. I mean, I think about some of this stuff, like if I were in undergraduate school learning about this stuff now, I don't know if it would resonate the same or if I would really. See? Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Business school may have been more useful, but at the same time, like English literature. You talk so well and you know all the big words. All the big words. (laughs) (laughs) I I do feel like it helped with communication, even though it wasn't really like a, I didn't take too many classes that were heavy with presentations, and I've always felt nervous presenting. Oh, I took a lot of classes. I had to do so many presentations, yeah, but it was such a small school that, like, you just, it wasn't that tough. <laughs> Mine was just a lot of writing, really. There, I've definitely had some presentations, but writing a lot. And I guess when you write a lot and you have to write, I don't know, for an English professor. You try to think of ways to say things that you wouldn't normally just say. Like, Yeah, but you got to know. know the big words to make that work, you know? Yeah. I guess I wouldn't put similar words anywhere close to each other if I'm typing something because that's better to use a larger vocabulary. So I wouldn't say however or something multiple times or... Or like I'll say illuminate or shed light on or bring to light or something just to change th- change things up the way that I write them. Not necessarily how I say it, but... It's pretty good. Writing like that, I think, now kind of changes the way that I speak because I don't talk quickly. I'm usually trying to think of a good way to say something before I say it for the most part, so... Yeah. I don't know. But I think it's helpful with communication. Uh, one thing that I feel pretty good about is in s- in work-like settings, uh, presenting doesn't feel as stressful as it did in, like, school or something. Maybe just because those were all peers Yeah. looking. I don't know. Even in college, more they were peers. More judgmental and maybe, rude. Yeah. Evil people. But, yeah, I want to present my service to the senior center when it's safe to do so i'm excited for that that'll be fun yeah just have people come on in have some snacks and grubhub grubhub whoa free grubhub wow appetizers yeah Yeah, just a bunch of mac and cheese from the post yeah that would be good that would be good yeah fried chicken for the old people let's talk to them about it let them know what's going on maybe uh do like the uh, 
do like Frederick does on Million Dollar Listing and be Throws like, little parties, dress yeah, up or something. For the brokers. And so yeah. what I'll do is I can invite people who work at the facilities around town to come see oh, my presentation. This is what I That's do. That's smart. We're learning so much. I put that on here, Million Dollar Listing. Nice. That show's so good. I meant to talk trash, though, about like how Ryan, for example, like in the first episode, apparently yeah. is real People grow. immature. Yeah. <laughs> 26. I know. Yeah. yeah. I, I get it. I get it. And I don't judge people. Everyone grows and changes. I just thought it was funny. Yeah, like The whole about tone is like totally different yeah. from how it would be today. And it's eight years ago. Yeah. Like, not that long. But all the clothes, everything looks so... 20. <laughs> I would have been 21. I know I would have been 21, Ugh, but I was 21. doing the math wrong. That was a bad year. Yeah, I should have paid more attention to million dollar listing. I probably would have gotten into real estate and used all of this energy toward that. And right. That sounds kind of fun. Selling houses or doing like, what was the, w- the name of that lady that helped us a couple of times? She probably oh, yeah, hates us at this point. Yeah, but probably. <laughs> 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 the mortgage broker. Yeah. 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 She probably hates us. For sure. <laughs> but we'll be more prepared and we'll go back to Wells Fargo and we'll work with Jason again because he was very nice. He was really knowledgeable. Yeah. Definitely. Yes, but Jason will help us. And now my business bank is through them. So. Yeah, I like Wells Fargo. Might they so see. far haven't charged me anything that they shouldn't be. So. Yeah. Take that, U.S. Bank. Yeah. But it would be, I mean, I bet being a realtor would be fun because you could see yourself living in the house. And I think that's what really separates people. It's just knowing the details about the house, but also how to show like, these are the benefits. Right. That's something that we talk about in this business group all the time. You want to talk about benefits more than features. Mm-hmm. Like you don't need to say this car has Look at how cool this power steering and things. power windows and AC. You want to be like, this is, the most comfortable car and it has the best gas. Well, I don't know, whatever. Mm-hmm. That's like with my company, I, th- there's only like one spot on the website when you're booking that says, we'll send a representative to you to set up equipment, record you in your home. The rest of it is like, this is how memories are made timeless. This is a way to pass your legacy on. This is a way to have the most special gift for your family. Yeah. Uh, this is unique. Like, I don't really talk about, like, I'm using a 4K camera and right. I'm using it's high the, quality it's audio. The experience yeah. and the pro, like, the result. Yeah, what you of get out of it. The things that, yeah. Yeah. That's so. smart. I like that. It's very good. Yeah. So that's how I try to tune the language of my website and my ads and stuff. Like, learn how we make memories timeless to you to, for you to pass on for generations to come. Yeah. Yeah. It's very good. Yeah, it is good. I like it. I like it a lot. I like my idea. I need to make a testimonial video for Ty Flash Film Academy, just ah. to be like these are the things that I've learned. He wants he wants them. He's gonna start putting them at the end of his videos. That's just playing good. one, yeah. So I think I'll do that I'll whenever those that. staff badges come in. Staff. I would love to do one after I got like paid jobs, but at the same time, I have so much that I've done. Right, already already, with that. Yeah. So, and I wouldn't have done all of that. Like having a resource where somebody's already done it and already tried a lot of things and failed at a lot of things. And now they're like, this is what's working for me. And then having other people in the group say, like, this is what worked for me or I went here and this, uh, these are all the things I've done wrong on this shoot. So consider these things before you go into your next shoot. Like all of those, all of that information has saved me thousands of dollars Mm -hmm. and so much time. I tried to, I tried to design my website and I like to say that it looked like vomit covered in sawdust. It was just really bad. And then Ooh, we used to have this really cool stuff when I worked at Target. You would just like sprinkle it over, over wet things and it would just like absorb it and then it wasn't there anymore. Gross. But yeah, I I paid a very small amount to have somebody in Pakistan design and, lo- and yeah, beautify my website. 
and you couldn't do that 10 years ago. So I've been listening to that audiobook, The End of Jobs, and um they they got back to me eventually. I told you that $4 book that I yes ordered. They said that their chat system on their website wasn't sending messages, so it was like 2 days later they emailed me with a new link to download the Very book. Good. So anyway, I've been listening to that lately and there's just so much good information about how things are changing and uh ways like that entrepreneurship is really a good way to win nowadays so uh, there was more of a point to that but i don't remember what i was even saying i don't remember either i was just getting kind of sleepy sitting here jake i gotta look this up jake texted me oh yes okay so last week i was talking on a tangent about business something or other and then you said something and then i completely forgot what i was talking about Mm -hmm. which happens and I got bummed out by it. Rude. Jake texted me, not that you <laughs> no, just that I forgot. That bums me out. So Jake texted me last week, Tuesday, and said, I'm telling your past podcast self that you were talking about negotiations. It may be too late, though, and how they were similar to something, but now I'll never know. And I said, I'm so confused, but thank you for listening. And he said, you lost your train of thought when Kirsten saw a dog. That's what you were talking about. So I was like, oh, oh wow. cool. Nice. So thank you, Jake. Thanks, um, Jake. I was talking about negotiations and the master class, Chris Voss, and how it's similar to uh, what I've learned in social work. So that is like kind of the basis of what I was going to talk about. But mm-hmm. essentially just that uh, there's so much in negotiation with, with like empathic attunement really listening to somebody's pain points and feeling that oh God, and scared the crap out of me wasn't so bad with these on. oh yeah i flinched sorry that's okay but really feeling their problems <laughs> trying to come up with solutions and meet people in the middle and when you when you take a hard stance against somebody whatever they present there's not going to be cooperation or collaboration and if you if somebody comes back to you with uh an issue like hey your costs are too exp- like you know, the price is too high being able to hear somebody and respect that but also not bend is a skill but yeah um empathic attunement mirroring which is just kind of meeting somebody where they are emotionally which yep. is a therapeutic technique i need to get better at that i'm not very good at that at mirroring? Yeah. I mean, when do you feel like you could use it that you're not using it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Um, All yeah. the time with every conversation. Yeah. I mean, it helps. Definitely. People, th- people, people like people who care and who listen. I and listen. if you are quick to change the subject or quick to turn something around to talk about you and your own experience, even if somebody's still talking to you, it's not, they're not as interested anymore if you take it away from them. So if you can keep the conversation about them, even if you share little to no information about yourself, they're going to think, wow, I really like that person a lot. Like we, mm-hmm. that person's my friend and you may not even know how I feel about an issue or something at all but the fact that i'm like sure i understand that or i get your point and maybe that's how it would be easier for me to make friends as if i just listen to people talk about themselves yeah and it's really not hard if you just validate feelings show empathy express that you care cooperate and this is this was in the book this is why Oprah gets so got so big. She's confident, assertive, but very kind. People like is people who kind? exude confidence, who are nice. Yeah, she gives stuff away. She's she shows at least she portrays a happy person, but she's also very confident. And you know, can you that trust she is. her though? A, a lot of people do. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't have any reason to not trust anyone unless they give me a reason to not trust them, you know? So 
I trust Oprah. Why not? Why not? Oprah is I'd your let her watch now. our dog. You wouldn't let Oprah watch your dog? I wouldn't let anyone watch my dog, probably, except for my mom. Because she's crazy. <laughs> She'd like Oprah. You think? Yeah, a lot. <laughs> what is she? She's, uh. <laughs> <laughs> She'd like Oprah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Oprah wouldn't like her, though. Yeah, probably not. She'd get... Uh, Ah, you crazy. It's cleaning herself. You nasty. But yeah. But uh confidence. Uh confidence and compassion. Demands. Not demands. <laughs> yeah. So Request. anyway, that's Chris Voss, master class. If you get a chance, check that out. That was my favorite. I've listened to I've listened back through it probably will listen to it again and i've looked at a lot of other stuff on the on the site and thanks again to garrett for giving me a free um year trial or whatever so that is really awesome um and i've been really enjoying that but chris voss is good and um i listened to some like marketing guys which was okay uh ooh. Sarah Blakely, I think is her name. The founder of Spanx. That one was yeah. also really, really good. And hers was on entrepreneurship. And it was really good and there was a lot to take away, but a lot of it is also tuned to people who are creating a physical product. Mm-hmm. Like if you're selling an item, which I'm not. So uh, it was really helpful, but not extremely applicable. Negotiation is tr- extremely applicable for business. There was other stuff like mass marketing, like commercial marketing, mm-hmm. which is way out of my league. Uh, I started one about storytelling, but it's really like written storytelling, which isn't too helpful for me. I started the Bob Iger one, who's the CEO of Disney, and that was sort of interesting, but... Disney CEO. Ask him why... He's super slow-talking... Uh, stories weren't very intriguing and it seemed like a lot of it was just about his historical deals with like this is how I bought Marvel and this is how we bought Pixar but it's not like this is how you could do something for your business. Oh like how it relates to your life potentially. Yeah, there's a little bit of it. So not empathetic. <laughs> yeah it's more it seemed more like just this is my experience rather than this is how you could apply it to you, which is why I liked Chris Voss, and that's the one I started on, and I'll watch it again and again and again. But Neil deGrasse Tyson, his was about communication, but there's also a lot of science in it, which I don't need. So, I mean, it's interesting, but it's also not what I'm trying to get out of it. So Mm. I did get an email today, though, saying that they added Tony Hawk. So I'll probably watch that. That's fun. Even though I don't skateboard anymore. No, you never did. It would be cool. Yeah, I'd (laughs) (laughs) leave. Just kidding. Yeah. I was rude. Yeah, you were being rude. I used to skate hard. I was a skater boy. I said, see you later, boy. (laughs) But, yep, yep, yep. Anyway, Tony Hawk, that'll be cool. Chris Voss. Thank you, Jake, for the reminder negotiating and business skills can be similar to social work and therapy skills. So that I am thankful for. A lot of people uh, go to college and don't necessarily get something out of it that has to do with their future. That was me. A lot of people, yeah. And I, I mean, I'll, I'll certainly use the social work for the sake of doing therapy like I continue to do. But also... <laughs> Yeah, having some, like, undertones in business is super helpful. Super helpful. I like learning. That business book's really good. Heard another quote in there. It was like, oh, actually, it was a Warren Buffett quote. I wrote it down. It's right here, actually. Oh, she didn't want me. Yep. I just checked that out. It's perfect. We have to end on some sort of happy note. 
something good from the past week. Warren Buffett. He says, diversification is protection against ignorance. It makes little sense if you know what you're doing. So if you know what you're doing, if you're good at something, all you got to do is focus on that one thing, not try to do everything because it's only going to make everything harder for you. So pretty solid advice. Makes me happy that I learned that information already. Like I could have made a website. I probably would have made a website if I didn't find this page, the Facebook group or the YouTube page. But I probably would have made a website that was like, I can do wedding photos. I can do senior photos. I could do, yeah. And now I just, one thing makes it real easy. One thing. All of my branding, all of my marketing, everything's focused on older adults. One thing. One thing. So it's good. And maybe eventually I'll add young kids with the owl logo that I had made. Oh, that would be hilarious. Like interviewing children to get their thoughts and stuff. Yeah. One day. It's getting windy out there. I know. It's going to be nice because I want to step out there. I don't like that I have class, but I guess it'll be easy. right? Yeah. Hopefully dinner will be done before class. Oh, yeah. Should we just wrap this up then so we could start on that? Oh, yeah. You wanted to end on something happy from the week. Treadmill belt. Uh, belt. Let me see. It's been raining. Yeah, that's... I'm about... There's that one. Oh, and yeah. That one. Uh, we don't need to talk about that. Sarcastic <laughs> blinks. <laughs> Sarcastic blinks? Yeah, what is like that? when you try it, like I do this to you all the time, but you probably don't notice it. Like I can speak sarcasm with my blinks at you. No, you can't. Yeah, because can. you're only speaking it if I'm also gathering that communication. All but right. Well, that's a good thing then. So I'll just keep that to myself. Okay, good. Treadmill belt is a good, I guess. It's not that good. It's not that good, but we could talk about the gym in there. I thought that I would like the weights over there, but I don't. You don't anymore? It just seems like it's crowding it too much. Yeah. But when the treadmill's down, it's they, I don't want them to go back on that side either. So Maybe what I think is just, just need to move some stuff around. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, there's like a big blue suitcase yeah. right next to it. I think I could move that into the corner, which would free up some more room to push the weight rack back or something yeah. but yeah we'll get there okay we'll get there um goals for the next week i've got a couple days left on the ad raffling the service story to record service but um i mean in full discretion i have i said i'd have three winners i've had three people reach out if I get more, I think I'll just do more for free. I think that's a good idea. So, yeah, uh, next week, by next week, I'll have all those answers. I have a couple days left. I'm not sure if I'll start reaching out to people before that ad runs out or not, but at least they're hot leads. People gave their name and number, so if it's free, should work out. Sorry. My, I was just doing this with my arms and my upper body is so sore it hurts. This is episode 40. Oh, there is someone walking up to the door. Uh Uh-oh. That's an Amazon guy. Let's end it now. All right. Boom. It was fun. We'll talk to you guys next time. Thanks for tuning in. Episode 40. Take care.